Hey guys, here's a quick video of me showing you how to weld some HTTP plate. So I actually held down these plates with some screws uh, to my table and the brackets on the side are held down with some screws so they won't move while I use an extrusion welder because it's going to put a little bit of force on there. Uh, for right now what I'm going to use is a hot air tool. Uh, there are many brands out there uh, but you, we use two different tips and we'll, I'm going to use some 5mm round HTP welding rod and this is the way that I'm going to be welding and actually what people do is preheat that area um, so I'm about to start right here so what you want to do is just push in that welding rod kind of force it in there and just kind of glide along what I'm going to do is let that welder heat that area up and just push that welding rod in with my right hand uh, what you'll notice is I'm trying to slow down a little bit right there to show um, an area where it's too hot and you'll see a little squeeze out um, but basically what you want to do is have a nice smooth motion and you'll have a tad bit of a squeeze out on the on the left and right side uh, what you want to do is make sure you have your cutter in hand because uh, if you don't you're gonna tangle up that welding rod and it's gonna be a big old mess um, if you want to build up that weld what you need to do is have two or three passes with that and right now I'm just cutting off that that end piece with the with the standard cutter um, so again if you want to build up that that weld you'll just add one more strip and one more strip uh, with this hot air tool now the extrusion welder that I'll show you uh, in the next few seconds is going to be a bigger a beefier weld and all you have to do is just throw down one pass with that uh, compared to multiple passes with that hot air tool Alright guys, here is the extrusion weld part. I actually inserted the welding rod into the, the hole. Um, so this extrusion welder is on. I'm purging out the material coming out right there. Um, I've actually had this machine on for the past 20 minutes or so uh, for the heat to transfer everywhere. Now I'm going to pick up and actually just hit that Teflon block right at the corner. I'm going to hold it in that position, not putting too much force in there, just letting the machine kind of glide along. Um, if if you don't put enough force, what will happen is that that weld will want to come up and over that extrusion, uh, that um, the Teflon tip, uh, and you'll. What I'm trying to do is basically lay down a nice bead of caulking, basically. Um, so right here, I'm going to turn off that motor. Um, you and once you turn off the motor, you have about like an inch or two of weld left in that Teflon block, so you can continue on. So you don't have to have that machine on all the time. So guys, here's uh, one thing that I did not mention in the very beginning of the video is um, grinding the surface area uh, of the weld with HDPE. Um, you want to basically scuff up the surface a little bit to get to the raw uh, plastic um, with different types of plastics. You don't need to do that, but with HDPE, you're going to have to. And I'm just using a four and a half inch grinder. Um, 60 grit, 80 grit will do the job. Um, again, you don't have to go too deep. Um, but this is plate, so you'll be fine with uh, with this. Now, if you had liner material, which is one millimeter thick or you know half a millimeter thick, it, it, you might damage it if you go too deep. Um, so I'm just again doing little small passes, um, just enough where the extrusion welder will cover it.